Hello and welcome to another video of Eternal Gains. This is the channel where I show you how to make the most out of your capital, how you grow your funds in the most sustainable and safe way, by at the same time getting the highest possible rewards. So what we are after is low risk, high rewards. Let's go. Today I'm going to talk to you about so-called reflecting tokens or reflection tokens. This is a relatively new concept and um, I will walk you through what it is, what you can do and how we can use it to our advantage. Um, the first of its kind is the so-called MCC token, which stands for multi-chain capital. It's on a dump right now, like everything else, but if you watched my video about trading psychology, then you know what to do. If you didn't, go and check it out. Okay, let's get into it. How does it work? <clears throat> what happens on this token is that on each buy, whenever somebody buys this token, there's a 10% fee, and this fee is distributed amongst holders, meaning you bought the token yesterday, and tomorrow you have 10 new buys, all of them pay 10% fee, and this is distributed amongst all the people which bought basically before the ones which bought now, which is pretty nice. It's sort of a yield on the token, automatic yield, right? Now there's another concept for each sell, right? There's also a 10% fee, and this goes into the treasury, what they then use to multi-chain farm with these funds, right? And also buy back MCC tokens. What does this mean? Now, the idea behind it is, whenever somebody sells this token, there's a 10% fee charge. This fee is put in, into their treasury, and then they use this treasury, again, to farm on multiple chains. That's why it's called multi-chain capital. So they're going to farm on Polygon, Phantom, and AVEX, and you basically benefit then from the yields what they generate, which is then basically distributed back to the token holders. Therefore, it's called reflecting token because it reflects basically the success of, of the underlying uh, treasury in this case. Uh, pretty nice concept in my, in my opinion. Um, we will have to see how it plays out in the long run, but I think the idea is good and I could definitely see this uh, as something which could work in the future. And um, if you come from traditional finance, then you can see this more like kind of a fund. So you invest into a fund, you have kind of a performance fee on the fund, right? And then you get you get um, you get a share of the performance of this fund, right? Now this uh, MCC token was launched on the Ethereum mainnet. If you're listening to me for a little bit, then you might have already uh, grasped <laughs> that I am not the biggest fan of Ethereum. Don't get me wrong, Ethereum is great. You have a lot of Huge potential coins on Ethereum. Security is mid, uh, one of the highest what you can get security-wise. Um, but it's very expensive, and especially if you don't come with a huge bag, then you really have to be. Um, you have to be. You do your math. You have to do your math to be sure that it pays off because the fees are huge, and you know if you have not enough capital, then it will eat your way. Now, luckily, there already popped up a fork of this um, MCC token, which is called SCC, Scary Chain Capital. And this is a fork on the Phantom Network, but the, con the concept is pretty much the same. This is their website. As always, I will leave a link to all these uh, websites in the description. So this is their website. They, they explain you like the tokenomics, what they're gonna do, the roadmap and so on. Also pretty new. So definitely a little bit of risk involved here, but I think in the mid-term, it could be definitely a good, a good bet, especially on the on the Phantom Network. The, the fees are low, so you could hop in, you know, see how it goes, and then you don't have to worry too much about the gas fees. Now they have also a Medium article article right here, and their tokenomics slightly different from the original, but the idea is the same. Like 10% of each buy go to the existing holders. It's the same like on the other one. But then 5% of each sale goes into the multi-farm, in the multi-chain yield farm, right? And the remaining 5% goes to development cost, advertisement opportunities. Um, eventually, this 
is sent to the investment and yield farming pools. This happens when development costs are covered and the marketing opportunities are not considered worth enough by the DAO. So what this means is that definitely 5% goes always to the yield farming, but they, the remaining 5%, so they also charge 5% in, 10% five, uh, in, 10% out. Um, on the remaining 5%, they will use it for development costs, for marketing, which is not too bad. So they raise awareness of the coin, which is at the end of the day good for all holders of this coin. So yeah, I see potential here, but do your own research. Check it out. I put the links in the description. I hope this helps and see you in the next one.